Inside Drake's $100 million mansion. We're going on to this video. Reason I chose this is because I know it's going to be so fucking stupid. I know it's going to be a house. Or not a house. It's going to be overtly, like, something that he doesn't need. The Toronto-born hip-hop star has found success hard and fast, and he likes to live his life the same way. Between jetting off in his private plane, endorsing the Raptors, running OVO, and spoiling his son, Drake has found lots of uses. Now, that's already too big of a house. If you have a house, okay, what is, what, how many rooms, how many bedrooms in a house is too big? Above five. Uh, above five bedrooms, your house is too big. Like, you don't need more. You don't need more in any way. And that's, unless you're like the 21 kids in counting show. And most of them live in like four bedroom houses. Because it's like one dad that works. That's the only, that's the only scenario where you need more than five bedrooms. His latest expense is a $100 million custom-designed compound called the Embassy. You know you're curious about how Drake spends his fortune, so let's dive right in and find out. In the middle of Hackney hustling, it could be in music, you could be building houses, you could be doing whatever, but... Drake's private compound in Bridal Path, Toronto is built to give the superstar some privacy. Buddy pick to live in Toronto? It's no wonder that the private neighborhood, which has housed celebrities like Celine Dion and even Prince, is called Millionaire's Row. If I'm Drake and I build this house, I'm going to make that shit look like a prison. I'm going to build, <laughs> I'm going to build fucking big ass walls with fucking an electric ass fence. I'm going to make that shit a compound. He's calling it a compound. That shit ain't a compound. You just got trees. You got fucking trees. Make it look like a compound. But why wouldn't you want top-notch security at a brand new luxury mansion nicknamed the Embassy? Drake's if you new nickname your house, that's how you know you live in a fucking mansion. But the 50,000 square foot custom mansion isn't meant to just look That is a death trap. But that's how you fucking die. Those look sharp as shit. What if one of those falls on you? I don't give a fuck how st That looks like a- that look Bro, that looks like a spike ball. Oh my god. What if that falls on my head? Which is why Drake and architect Ferris Rafali designed it with some of the rappers. I hate, I fucking hate how a, a, every time it's a goddamn mansion, it's always like, oh, the person and the architect had some ideas. No, Drake had no fucking say in the foundational purposes of this house. Drake was like, yeah, I want a staircase there. That's all he fucking said. He didn't have any uh, massive creative, creative capabilities with this house. The home has an NBA regulation sized indoor basketball court. So yeah, how much do you think he plays on that shit? How much do you think? How much do you think Drake Drake plays on that shit? I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I don't think he plays on that shit at all. One time, when he has an NBA player over, once a month, once a year. The studio comes complete with a cozy lounge decorated with some of Drake's favorite action figures. And that's not the only impressive collection Drake has. He has an entire room called the Awards Room, where he displays all of his achievements. And <laughs> Damn! Okay, that is success. If you have a- if you can have a whole ass room where you have your achievements, that's pretty fucking cool. The- if I had an award room, the only goddamn thing I'd put in it is my fucking YouTube plaque. It would be a whole ass room for a fucking 100k YouTube subscriber plaque. This man has like award after award. Where he just- Who is that? Isn't that a dictator? Yeah, why does he have that in it? <laughs> that's Mao Zedong? Why does he have that in his award room? Is that actually Mao? Is this his fucking award room? Why does he have Mao Zedong in his fucking living room? Or not living room, award room. After a hard day of work, why does he Drake have can that? relax and entertain friends in the great room. With its 44 foot high ceilings and tons of room to kick back, the great room also holds- It's never homey. That's a part of the problem with all these big ass mansions. It looks like a hotel entrance. Like, I'm not gonna sit on this couch and like fall asleep. You know what I mean? Like I, I I'm not I'm not at home when I'm sitting here. I feel like I'm in a lobby of a hotel. The first is a Bossendorfer bespoke grand piano. Yeah, he don't know. Designed how to play by that. his architect Ferris Rafali and Takashi Murakama. In the US, a Bossendorfer can cost anywhere between seven hundred and fifty six Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You got a fucking piano for half a mil? Just buy a fucking Lamborghini. Lamborghini? Fucking piano. Oh my god, what the fuck? If I was ever in Drake's house, I would walk right past that shit and say, Oh cool, a piano. And then I would just keep walking. Over 20,000 pieces Dude, of they hand. literally look like knives. 
soft cut Swarovski crystal make up the grand chandelier, which is the second largest you. of its kind in the world. But despite the luxury, Drake would much rather spend <gasps> his- <gasps> Oh my god, what are you living in the Victorian era? Is this his room? Ooh, what is that? In his 3200 square foot master bed- Nah, this is- Out of everything you could have picked, you're a fucking multi-millionaire. You choose to live in a Victorian-styled fucking house? Oh my god. What the fuck is this painting? What is this shitty-ass room? This looks like some shit a rich grandma would have. We know you'd love to kick back in that bed. No, I wouldn't. That actually is so ugly. I'm- Dude, I'm not even being- I'm not even trying to be a dick right now. That room is so ugly. This looks like the Queen of England would sleep here. What is this? What is this shit called? A futon or whatever it is? Some rich people shit when they have, for some reason, they have this on the, the, the bottom of their bed for whatever fuck all reason. You never even use it. The centerpiece of the epic bathroom is probably that 4,000 okay, pound dope. tub of black marble. That's It dope. was carved from one single. That's a massive bathtub. Making it one of the most unique pieces in Drake's house. It goes well with the eloquently epic two. Why do you got a bathroom that looks so fucking sick and it's all modern and fucking new? And then your bedroom is straight out of the Queen of England fucking shithole. What the fuck is this? <laughs> like, they are, they're not at all the same. The entire master suite is surrounded by 1,100 square feet of covered terraces so that even chilly Toronto winters don't keep him cooped up inside the house. Bro uh, lives in a million dollar house. mansion and he's but got a Toys R Us playset in the fucking back? Oh my god. You could've got anything. Get a big ass slip and slide for your kid. Some shit. You know what I'm talking about? The indoor pool is made of black right, granite. He's got some weird problems because the rest of this house right now looks fucking dope, but his bedroom is actually the worst. Like, I don't know why he chose that. And has a black light, so Drake can change up the room's atmosphere for any occasion. Atmosphere seems pretty important to Drake since he also has a high tech singing toilet. That freaked me out. It's also square. I don't want to shit in that. I actually wouldn't want to shit in that. That does not look like a comfortable toilet to me. Cut off the- what is this? It's just a box that I'd poop in. The star also owns three homes in Hidden Hills, California. Why? 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 Have like max two houses. Why do you have three homes in the same fucking city? Cause he can? But like, bro, then you don't- it doesn't even feel like a house. It's like you're staying at a fucking Airbnb, bitch. Three houses in the same fucking city? What the fuck is the purpose? Drake bought the three bedroom, two and a right, half that's a fucking dope bedroom. with the intention of pairing it with some other nearby- Bro, what is with this shit? It looks like you got this on the side of the road. I could get this at a fucking- Oh my god. I could literally pick that- Bro, this looks- This looks beat down. What you, you why you always got these dumbass fucking pieces of furniture, bro? You had the good shit there, and then you just have this weird shit. Pretty is the seven point seven million dollar home that Drake. That, see, that's a that's a dope house. The pride and that's also too big. I would say cut that house in half, but like this is a dope property. Like I could tell this is gonna be a dope property. It's because of this epic pool, complete with a waterfall and a grotto. The home also has tons of activities, like a home gym. Drake's a fan of luxury transport, but he's not always speeding around in sports cars. Instead, his favorite mode of transportation is his $185 million custom private plane. The Boeing 767... Th what the fuck? Most people's <laughs> private planes have like 10 seats. You got a whole ass carrier vehicle. What the fuck is this shit? You could hold a hundred goddamn people on that. You have Air Drake. Oh, how much, how rich is he? Holy shit. You have a Boeing 767? What the fuck? Oh my god. And now rocks a blue exterior with painted clouds. When it comes to cars though, Drake is a collector. No wonder he needs so much. Oh, I hate that. I hate, I, okay, fine. Collect cars. Fucking drive them. I hate when rich ass old people buy like a fucking McLaren and they never drive it. If I'm ever rich enough to buy, like, a fucking Lambo, I'm gonna use that to drive to the grocery store, bitch. I don't care. I'm driving that every day. I don't care if I run the miles down and it loses value. Why are you buying a $2 million car if you're not gonna fucking drive it? The plane was gifted to him? Who the hell gifted him a $180 million plane? 
the king of Dubai? What the fuck? He also managed to get his hands on a rare Mercedes Pullman worth $600,000. And he owns the very last Maybach. <laughs> a goofy ass pajamas. What is this fucking. <laughs> what the fuck is this picture? What is this picture? This particular collector's car is estimated to have cost the singer over a million dollars. Bro. Drake also has a few more practical cars that he's been seen rolling around in. One of his favorites might be his Ferrari Le Ferrari, which he purchased for over a million dollars. Another God. is his Lamborghini Aventador. Bro, like, I, I just can't grasp having that much money. Like, I make good money on social media. I couldn't buy any of these cars. Like, I couldn't buy any of them. Like, actually, I don't even have enough money to buy any of them. Like, the fact that he owns, like, four houses, like, ten cars, and a $180 million plane. Like, how do you have that much money? The rapper also has a Devel 16 worth $2.2 million, a Rolls-Royce Dawn worth 400000 and a few other classic luxury vehicles. His garage also contains a Lamborghini Gallardo, a Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren, a Bentley Continental GTC, and a McLaren 6... How many cars does he have?! Oof, that's a lot of cars to have to choose between every day. Which of Drake's Can many the first streamer on Twitch can afford that? Oh, XQC owns a McLaren. <laughs> XQC does exactly what I said I would do. XQC drives his McLaren as an everyday vehicle. Like, he'll drive his McLaren, like, anywhere. He let his barber drive it. XQC owns this. It's like a fucking million dollar car or some shit. Drake's fashion sense has cost the singer millions in his unique and trendy pieces. One of the standouts is his $750,000 A piece of shit watch. Richard Mill watch. Backstage at the O2 Arena in 2019, Bro, he showed off his luxury showing. watch and the rest of his outfit, including an $11,000 Brioni jacket, a Tom Ford outfit worth 18 grand. Dude, looks like a regular ass suit. And a custom diamond chain worth $200,000. I get the diamond chain. Okay, the diamond chain I understand. The basketball fan also has been- Okay, that's a dope ass Rolex. That's a dope ass- Is that a Rolex? That's a dope ass fucking watch. It's diamond encrusted. That's fucking sick. I don't care about the other ones. A $750,000 watch just for it to look like a plastic piece of shit. And a custom Raptors- A big ass fucking ring. Raptors championship ring. Why, why- why does he get a ring? Why did he buy a ring? He's not even on the team. Does he own them? Does Drake own the Raptors? He has an official role with the Raptors. Drake's status as the number one Raptors fan. Okay, so he has some stake in it. Drake also has a thing for shoes and handbags. You've definitely seen the rapper rocking classic and rare kicks, like the not-yet-released Air Jordan 1 High OG Dior sneakers that he showed off in a sneak peek of his closet. But these $2,000 shoes aren't even the star of the show. He also has a pair of bright yellow Jordan 5 Retro Tokyo T23 kicks, which would sell for over $5,000 today. Y'all want to hear a story? Y'all want to hear a fucking story? Bro, I, okay, a lot of you know that I have, like, a few pairs of Jordans. Like, right over there, right? I only have, like, three. Um, and I go to this shoe store um, that a lot of people go to in New Jersey. It's, like, an hour away, right? It's, like, more near Philly. It's actually really close to Philly. And they sell to a lot of, like, famous people, right? And I went there to buy... Hold up. I went there to buy these shoes. These are Turbo Greens, right? When I was talking to the people that I that I bought them from, they one of them recognized me from TikTok, and he ended up getting like my Instagram down and whatever. And he DMs me when new shoes come out. And for the first like week or two, he like talked to me about like shoes that I requested. I wanted like Royal Cur uh, Court purples and stuff like that. He's like, "Yo, like I have all these like famous people and shit. I'm gonna DM you these sneakers." And I was like, "Okay." And he sent me these two shoes the other day. Guess how much they were? I didn't even respond. I didn't even respond. I was like, this motherfucker must think I got a fucking bag and a half. He sent me shoes. He was like, he was like, yo, like if you want to snatch these, like they're like almost one of a kind, like not that many people have them around here. Like I've been sending them to like all the famous people around here. They were 14 grand. I, I, I fucking look them up. He sends me the shoes. They're like, I don't even know what they were. Let me actually, let me actually look. Like, I'm gonna, I'm about to go see because I fucking have his message. He sends me these. He has Nike Air Yeezy 2s and they're like nine grand. I'm like, I'm not buying that shit. Like, what the fuck? I stroll in, I buy these shoes. These were like 400 or some shit because they were like used. This motherfucker, this motherfucker sends me 
Send me shoes. <laughs> He's like, yo, you interested? Uh, no. <laughs> no, fuck. Nine grand. Joe's Nine grand for fucking Yeezys. Yeah, no. Like, bro, like, the most I would spend on shoes is, like, 800 max. Like, my mochas were the most expensive, but now they're going down in price. In total, experts estimate his collection to be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. But Drake also likes collecting Hermes Birkin bags. Oh, these, these bags, I know, bro. My girlfriend likes these bags. Like, she, like, talks about how, like, fucking famous-ass people have them, and you have to be on a list to get them and all this other shit, and they're, like, a hundred grand. He's actually been collecting them for years as a gift to his future wife. One of his most... <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's, like, sweet and sad at the same time. Oh. Oh, that's, like, so nice, but it's also so sad. Drake does a lot more than just music to be able to afford this kind of luxurious living. For starters, he co-owns OVO, October's very own, which is a company that encompasses his record label, clothing line, and radio station. In 2019, he made Drake about- Drake has a clothing line? $50 million in profit off of his clothing line alone. Drake what? is also an ambassador for his favorite sports team, the NBA's Toronto Raptors. He started the massively popular We the North campaign in partnership with the team. He's even hinted at his desire to buy the team one day, which seems 100% possible as the rapper continues to grow his fortune. And keep I always wonder, like, he, he'll probably be fine, right? But, like... All these, have you ever, like, seen rappers that, like, blow the fuck up? Like, Lil Xan was one of them. Like, they blow the fuck up, they buy, like, four homes, and then they fall off, and then they have no, f they, because you have to make payments on those things, right? Like, even if they buy the car outright, like, you're still, buy like, you're still paying for, like, the car insurance and home property taxes and all this other shit, and, like, they literally just can't pay for the house anymore, and so they have to, like, foreclose on it. Like, that sucks. I would shit myself. If I was, like, I, I doubt it'll happen to Drake, but it happens to other rappers. Like, imagine Drake owns four homes, and then it's just, like, he just stops making music, and it all just, like, crumbles. How, like, how is he going to pay for that shit anymore? And you cannot forget the $1 million that he gave away to fans during the filming of the God's Plan music video. The $1 million in cash was supposed to be the budget for the video, but Drake had better ideas of how it could be spent. Drake has the money to... He just gave a... He just gave a mill out in cash to random fucking people? His fortune has convinced him to start branching out on other investments. Recently, he became an investor in the tech company Omni. I don't, okay, one thing that I don't like is a lot of people say, like, oh my god, all these, like, these rich, famous people are so smart, they're investing in these tech companies and all this shit. They didn't think of that, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little fucking secret. All those rich-ass people that are investing in fucking tech companies, their financial advisors are telling them to do so. The people that they have telling, because they don't know how to manage their finances. Some of them do, but a lot of them don't. Just because you're rich doesn't mean you, you somehow know about these amazing ass fucking things. It's financial people, advisors telling them, hey, you should fucking throw 10 mil down on this fucking company. It's probably going to fucking do well. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. How the fuck would Drake know about Omni? In his free time, he looks into fucking futuristic tech companies. Like, I doubt that. Drake does have a brand new venture, the likes of which he's never done before. He's become a father. His son, Adonis, was just recently introduced to the world after rapper Pusha T let it slip that Drake really did have a kid. And Adonis is definitely- Who's the kid's mother? They decked out the rapper's home with gold balloons and lots of decorations featuring what seemed to be Adonis's favorite character, Cookie Monster. We've also got a sneak peek at Adonis's love for- I feel like Drake would be a good dad. I'll say that. I'll say, I'll say that. I feel like Drake would be a good dad. Drake, uh, Drake looks like he would be a good dad. I don't think Drake will have, like, a shitty kid. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I know. Just how Drake acts, I feel like he would be a good dad. How Rick Ross blew 40 mil. See, like, I don't understand. Like, Rick Ross definitely is not as big as he used to be.